Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we learned that skipping checkpoints is risky. They are costly and sometimes it is worth not paying the price if you are good enough, but sometimes you just gotta pay up. Speaking of paying up, what kind of, what kind of upgrades am I able to afford right now? Can I get another health upgrade? I kind of want another health upgrade. Not quite. I need another 24 gems. Okay, well, I'll save my money for that. Let's check out these challenges. These challenges are... Oh, that's the next level. Oh, no. I missed one of the challenge scrolls. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna have to go back there to find that. Where was it? Well, first things first. Challenge 6, Pack of the Wolves. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get some money here. Maybe not, though. I'm getting the feeling not, which is a bummer, because I really would have liked that health. You know, I probably could have afforded the health if I didn't reuse that one checkpoint that I didn't want to reuse. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Yeah, I had a feeling that you'd be in there. So, the goal for these challenges, by the way, is to locate some sort of crystal orb. And break it for reasons. Honestly, I'm not sure that the story ever actually gave a reason to be smacking those things. But that's what we're doing, and it counts towards completion. In fact, I think it's also something we're supposed to do for the sake of progress. Okay, time to air dash. No, I just want to circle. Darn it. Okay, so that was not where the gem was located. In case anybody was wondering what was going on there, I was trying to do an air dash. Apparently, you cannot air dash on the ground. Well, good news is I know not to waste my time going to the left. I'm just going to ignore you. Oh, and the ch <laughs> yeah, that's right here. Okay, skedaddle. Oh, you know what? I have to go this way in order to leave the level. Because it's not a simple matter of breaking the thing. We have to break the thing and then make our escape. Preferably without running out of energy. Speaking of energy... No, uh, Maddie, or not Maddie, you two have the same color names, but I caught it this time. So Kaiba is asking whether you take damage air dashing through enemies. No, you can, in fact, do that. But you have a limit on how many air dashes you can perform. Up in the upper right corner... Where there's a feather icon. I have three empty slots on the left. That means I've used up all of my air dashes. I'm not sure what the slots on the right are. I'm guessing eventually... The 
those other slots on the far right corner under the tiny feather are going to be more powers that I obtain. Okay, let me check here. Is it Kiba or Kaiba? Okay, let's see if we can figure out where that last scroll might be. It won't be up there. There's no way to get up there. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about trying to find a ton of money. We're just going to make our way through to somewhere. Okay, it's actually keep up. My mistake. And now we know. I already went up there and didn't see anything. I'm fairly confident that up there is... Oh, there it is! I saw it! You know what? We'll come back to this level, actually. I have a feeling perhaps we'll get another power that will allow us to get that scroll. So let's instead head to level 7, Roars of the Deep. Gonna be another cave level. Yep. So, for those of you who are new, here is how these levels work. I got fireflies hovering around me, and I want to go to these firefly nests to collect more. The longer I stay away from a light source, the more fireflies leave me. And if I lose all of my fireflies, all the glowy eyes grab me. I get grabbed by the gullies. Okay, I already know that there's going to be two unlockable scrolls here. Oh, here we are. Oh, I didn't see the bat until it got me. And I accidentally used an air dash because I was meshing buttons there in a panic. Okay, good. There's another firefly spot right up here. Of course, losing all your health also results in being grabbed by the goalies. Let's try going this way first. These levels are big and dangerous. Uh, I'm not going after that. That ain't worth chasing. Oh, this is where the goal is. Okay, finding the goal is... Oh, gosh dang it. These enemies inside the crates are the worst. Mainly because I keep falling for them. So every level, we need to collect two emblems in order to unlock the portal. Up 
Apparently I came this way just for gems. You know what? I don't have to take the time to fight that spider. It gets to live. So if I run out of fireflies, it is instant death. Too bad the glowy eyes don't light up the dark. They're not that sort of glowing. Red evil glowy is not a good light source. You know, also the gems aren't even worth it. Like seriously, who's gonna go after those? Okay, that's where one of the scrolls are. Oh, that's some money. Part of me wants to know whether busting through this will lead somewhere good. If I wind up exploring the whole level, And I haven't found any challenge scrolls. Oh wait, never mind. Checkpoint. Thankfully, this game has unlimited lives. Oh, I can't go back that way. Air dash is only to the side. You cannot air dash up. Oh gosh! Didn't see the poisonous mist there. So we want to bash you up front. But don't land on the thorny backside. And I got shot up with an arrow. So although I can tail swipe to attack him. Probably for the best that I just don't sit there and allow him to pot shot me point blank. Go for the stumps. Thankfully, these mini-bosses are filled with glowy gems. As long as I'm near a gem, my fireflies will not leave. Was that a Wilhelm scream? I'm pretty sure that was a Wilhelm scream. My acorn grenades do do damage. They're also a little hard to, uh, a little hard to aim considering how far they bounce before they detonate. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to detonate these whenever you want. You just have to throw it and hope that it doesn't take too long to detonate. Darn it. You know what? I can stomp on you. And you produce a gas cloud. Didn't get me that time. Instead, I think I ran out of fireflies. Oh, 
Okay, so using the grenades can be useful in this fight. I am not a fan of how much damage I took there. Uh, I already died skipping the checkpoint. This time, I'm recharging it. Oh boy. Almost got me there. You know, this isn't the first cave I've been in, and I don't remember those mushrooms creating a noxious gas cloud when you defeat them. That might be a new thing they're doing here in Chapter 2. Okay, the ones that take two hits do not do the cloud. You got me again. That bat got me again. And then those bats. And that time I just failed to time my attack. This is not an easy game. Either that or I suck. Perhaps a little bit of both. Oh gosh dang it. By the way, I mentioned before that this was an obscure game. Well, this game has a special edition. I seen it on eBay, it's at 35 bucks. This game is obscure enough that apparently those special editions are not selling well. I almost got the special edition. 35 bucks ain't a bad price. But I wasn't sure how much I would enjoy this game. Not to mention, it was on sale on the eShop for six bucks. So I decided to just buy it digital. There is no regular edition, it seems. I missed something. There was totally a secret there and I'm going back for it. Yeah, I'm going back for the fireflies. They're right here anyway. So this game was also on the Vita? Didn't realize the game was uh, that old already. I knew it was a couple of years old. Well, the Vita was a pretty popular system though, so... I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, I know that this is not going to be a bottomless pit. I was very much curious to see if it led anywhere. Not exactly. But you never know, there might have been another hidden path like there was in that other spot. Alright, well let's go ahead and go to the hidden path that we know exists. So this game released in 2018. Yeah, I kind of figured it was somewhat recently. Okay, got that. 
Unfortunately, this game does not provide a thing that lets me know how many of these scrolls I've collected so far in the... What am I doing? Get over here and get more fireflies. Okay, as far as I'm aware, I've explored everything up there. So now we go figure out what's down in this direction again. I have not gone to the right. Hold on a sec, that looks like something. I feel like I can make that. One more try. Okay, I give up. These are just gems. Yes, I'll go ahead and check uh, take that checkpoint. I have a feeling that I will need it. Let's start by going this way. Oh, this is where the boss is. need missed. By the way, I have previously learned that you cannot throw grenades while jumping. You have to be standing on the ground. Okay. I have the ability to leave the level now. But I really want to figure out where the last scroll is. Up here, perhaps? Hmm. Wait, what was that? It was one of those things again, and I don't know what it is. Oh, so apparently if I had broken down off that bridge up there... Oh, there it was again. If I had broken through that bridge up there, I would have landed down here. Not a bottomless pit. Well, whatever that thing was, it's gone. Make sure I have enough fireflies before moving on. Where is this? Oh! This is up there. Okay, I only got one scroll, right? Yeah, I have not gone down this way. Looks like I have. No, there was another path down here, right? I think? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Down here is probably where the scro other scroll is. Yep, there it is! I'm ready to leave the level! Preferably without falling into that pit. Am I able to make my way back up from here? Nope! Gotta make my way around again. Yeah, that's a gem not worth going after. Bonking my head there is not helping. So much not helping that I'm not taking chances. Give me more fireflies. I'm 
then drop down here. Yeah. And then the goal was somewhere. That's right. Boy, if there's any time that I'm glad that there's an arrow pointing me where the goal is, it's this level. are starting to take a while to go through and they were already taking a while to go through to begin with hey this right here the ancestor colgen what is colgen i have no idea but this ancestor will be giving us another power of some sort what power will that be we'll find out after we come back 